Eight junior. Talk about the touch. Two hours before the game, the gym was empty except for A.D. Smith shooting threes. And why is that? He saves it in. Nice play there. Smith wide open. He's got it. A.D. Smith. Oregon will stay in this fight man-to-man -man defense. They want to stretch Georgia Tech as Collier spins, but the defense is there by Smith. Kicked out Smith for three. A.D. Smith out of Alvin Jones' hand. Nice fake by A.D. Smith. Wow! We're up and under. We have a break in the action. A.D. Smith. Look at this move. His team up by four. We'll be back. Item in the zone as Smith gets an easy shot to fall. Tom Babel. I look at the paint as a special place that must be earned, and that's a nice piece of post defense. Straight up and down, contact made. Over to Tarek Brown, looping inside to AD. AD backing in, backing in with the right hand up, and in. Up to the lane, back right to AD, open three ball on the way, good. AD. Right to uh, Smith, there you see 84-78, Wake Forest over Ohio. Play very well offensively. Linquist double pumping. Smith put back is in. Boy, J.D. J.D. Smith does a nice job of getting offensive boards. Frederick Jones in the game into Smith. One-handed. Gets the ball inside to Jones. A.D. Smith for three. And we are tied at 34. A.D. Smith. A.D. Tomorrow we'll see probably four great ball games. Smith. A.D. Smith. A.D. delivers. And into here in the second half. Smith backing in, turns, puts it up and in. A.D. Smith. Big Smith. A.D. They call me Mr. Smith. Smoke, but could quite finish it. Smith drives. What a nice screen by point. A.D. Smith right here. Do what he does that old school way. Follow your shot and roll in for a left. Smith. Oh, what a move. Show and tell time for A.D. Smith. There. He comes through. He takes a player with him. Now watch Smith step in second. Boom. That's a terrific defensive play right there because he had a one of six. Jones high off the window. Running out. And the tap in A.D. Smith. Comes. Not going down. That's why he's tracking the basketball for his offensive opportunities. Five points for Lane. Smith lines it up and connects. And dumping it inside. Smith. Great position on a shovel shot. Well, is he ever tricky? Down deep. In Hall with a three-point lead on Oregon. Inside, Smith leaning in for two. That's Here's that opportunity. Off to the race as they go. Scales pushing. A little fancy dip away, protecting the basketball. But look at Smith. Baseball pass right on the money. Watch the ball hide. Boom, takes it away, puts it up off the glass.
Arizona lineup that creates some defensive mismatches. A.D. Smith back the other way. Here we go. The penetration by Wright, and he found a wide open man. He's the best like that. He's good look. A.D. stepped away for his freshman status. Kind of hurt him because the experience isn't there. Right. A.D. short post, 18-footer. Let's make it about 14. Gales, the recipient. Smith, three for three. And gets it right back. But again, I question, where's the defense right now? Smith tries to take the lead and gives the lead to the Oregon Ducks. Look at that zone defense. The weak side, Scales. Nice ball movement inside. What a big play by Smith. 5%. Smith at 76%. Scales at 75%. Rosemont misses, but look at this. Top alert oh. with that of A.D. Smith. Just bat it out to your own net. Here's a little show and tell. Right here. Oh, -ho -ho. nice little pump fake and didn't try to ball where he likes to get it down the low paint area. So Oregon did a nice job on him defensively. Well, we start the second half and California will have the possession. Monte Legan really came on strong in later stages of the first half with seven points. Lampley trying to play high low with Vanderland. That's how they started the game, trying to dump it inside to Vanderland. And Joe Ship gets the start for Cal in the second half. Now it's inside the Vanderland against Lowe, trying to move the feet, trying to go up and under, and he just clangs a brick off the back of the board there. Oof. He might get a uh, permanent membership in the Masons Union. That's a situation where his freshman status kind of hurt him because the experience isn't there, and he's been much too uh, fast, I think, in his shots and triggered. Sweeping up and under by A.D. Smith. Also be interesting to see if A.D. can work on Lampley. He's got two fouls. He doesn't want to get another one. And there's a missed assignment by the Ducks. And Lampley gets an easy two. That was Hartenstein's uh, fault that time. On the switch, he was supposed to be back in the middle. Scales in the air ball, looks at the official. And no call. Leggins trying to penetrate. Lampley, 14 feet from the hoop. Moving in on A.D. and he just manhandled A.D. Smith. A.D. gave ground a little bit too easily. Bears back into that zone. Inside to flow, back out to Freddy, cross court to right. A.D. short post, 18 footer. Let's make it about 14 footer. I don't want to give him too much credit. He ran it very well that time. Every time that double team would come, they'd skip the pass. Finally found the right guy on the baseline, Mr. Cool. AD, 15 points, right about his seasonal average. Leggins in the land of the Giants, and Flo rejected that one without even leaving his feet. Back into Vanderland. Vanderland looking to get rid of it. Does. AD tips it. Controlled by Freddie Jones. Got to push it, Freddie. Behind the back, almost lost it. Boy, Leggins is quick, isn't he? Scale tries to take it strong. Ball was deflected, last touch by California. Well, Scales that time took the ball strong, but there's three guys in there. You gotta skip the ball. You gotta make sure you know where your teammates are. A lot of people open against that zone. You're just patient enough. Get it right back to Scales. Tipped across court, last touch by Leggins, and Joe Ship says, I couldn't get to it. I couldn't get to it. <laughs> Bernie Kent was right there. He was gonna let him get to it. <laughs> up good defense by Vanderland trying to get over the top can't AD the up and under and he's fouled hard and they'll call that an intentional foul on California I believe they call it a hard foul the foul on Joe Ship look how smart AD is he gets great position head and shoulders fake no way is going for the ball that time Ship just ripped his arm for A.D. Smith, and it'll be Oregon's possession, so they'll clear the free throw lane here. You can see the crowd really agrees, don't you? Well, I, I thought there was one earlier that they didn't call. Yeah. This time they did call. Right there with a bunch of 
maniacs waving balloons in your face. You know what? If you're watching the rim, you don't see the balloons. And AD has good concentration. 86% free throw shooter. He'll silence the crowd. Now AD 17 points. Career high 29 points earlier this year against Hawaii. So the Mets lead by eight and a half possessions of the basketball. Trying to get a four point or more possession here. Freddie in traffic. Well, they're working AD Smith. Can't get it. Keeps it alive. Keeps it again. And score. Oh my Look goodness. goodness. Look at his position. Just so fucking. Tipping the ball, tipping the ball. And, and who will execute? Osler has the ball knocked away. Here's White in traffic. And he will pull up. Smith for three. He hits. Smith almost makes up the stagger with one shot. 32, 31. And think about it. In this classic, the Oregon Ducks have always been close in ball games, and then they find a way down the stretch to come out and win. Smith hit in his first triple of the game. 32, 31. Yes, that is the tournament history of Oregon. Oregon just sticks around and sticks around. They defeated Wake Forest, 67-66 by doing that. And last night again, against Gonzaga. Three seconds, two seconds, shot up, and not good by Alexander. Oregon so far playing very good defense against the Rainbow. This is Jones, bounce pass, Linkwitz for three. That's short, comes off to Savovic, tied up by Jones. And now they're going to talk to Jones. See, they're saying Savo threw an elbow. Let's watch it now. Uh, he's trying to get his elbow out of the way, I think. But they calm things, they calm things down. Let's take a look at angle. it again, yeah. Well, he didn't throw an elbow, I don't think. No. Huh? He, what do you think? he took his left arm to try and clear out some way. Yeah. And I like the no call by either of, I mean, by the officials. Not a foul, not a person, nothing. Both guys are going to play hard. Don't let this thing get marred by uh, the officials getting too involved in the game. 32 31. Hawaii holding on. Quita double teamed. Another turnover. That's three in a row. Here's Jones. Jones out to right. Smith. Oh, what a mismatch. Up and in. He went right over Johnny White. Yeah. And Marquette Alexander never caught up to anybody on that floor. And Jim, if you're the Rainbows, you want to go back in the locker room, come out and start the second half a little different. That's three turnovers in a row. Sabovich from the corner, not good. A foul is called on a three-point shot. That foul on Hicks. And actually, I think it's going to be on Jones. Yeah, Jones. What did I say? Yeah, Hicks, yeah. Well, that's because Jones has been personally challenged now by Sabovich. Coach Ernie Kent calls him over to have a conversation with him. Don't get caught up in the head game. Play your games. You got to be smart. Stay on the floor. Oregon leading 33-32, 17-67 left. Shot up by Sabovich, though. Sabovich with nine points. Bedrad Sabovich from Herced, Novi. Yugoslavia transferred to Hawaii from Alabama, Birmingham. Had a great tournament. Got nine points against Bradley, and then last night, 25 against Colorado. He now is in double figures against Oregon in the championship game. He has 10. That's got to go. 35-33. The Rainbows really have been cut off here in the second half from the field goal shot. Smith gets it to Frederick Jones. This is White for three. That's off the mark. High rebound comes off to Savovich. Savovich goes by Linkwitz. 
Gives it to Alexander. He sees Johnny White. Good decision by Sabovic. Osler and Marquette Alexander down at the low post. Get it into Puida. Has position. They build a fence around him. Puida loses the ball. Gets it back. And they'll tie each other up. Now Hardenstein steals it. Boy, no whistle on that play. And they call a foul on Sabovic. Free throw. That was Sabo's second foul. And Sabo committed the foul thinking that he was going to be giving up a fast break. Decided to commit the foul instead of allowing the team to get broke on. Oregon looking to tie. Scales in the game against Puida. Drops it down low to Jones. Jones loses it. Gets it back on the baseline and fields it back outside to Jerry and to White. Here's Smith, picked up by Osler. Smith for three. Bad off line. Alexander can't hold the rebound, but he's fouled by Hardenstein. Hardenstein is high-stepping to the reaction of the whistle. Well, Alexander has the rebound. Hardenstein comes over the top. And, uh, Picks up the foul. Blow Hartenstein with his third personal foul. And that's the third team foul on Oregon. Into the game is Julius Fitch, number 21. Alexander tried the quick pass to White. But White lost the touch of scales, got in there and bothered him. Another turnover for the Rainbows. In the second half, they already have five turnovers. They have 12 for the game. That's, that's remarkable because they've had probably seven or eight possessions, and they've turned the ball over five times, coming out of the locker room, not with good execution. And yet, they continue to lead it. Jones overplayed by Puita. His shot goes. Jones for three. Make a mistake on the defensive end. Fabo tried to come over and help Puita. Jones, the X factor, made them pay. Jones is eight. Three-pointer of the season, first of the game. 36-35, Oregon. Rainbows need a field goal. They haven't had one in a long time. Osler, good spin move by Smith. But then he's bothered by Hicks. Loses the ball. Here's Scales. Three on two. Left side, Jones. Overplayed by Sabovich to the hoop. Two. I tell you, the X-Factor, one of the 7-11 keys with Jones and Puida. Right now, Jones is having it his way. Oregon has reached out. And has seized this second half so far. Just under 16 minutes left to play in the game. Alexander to White. Alexander off the lane. Rainbows need his offense. That shot way off the mark. And a foul called on Puita. Things not going well for the host team. Second personal foul on Puita. Second team foul on the Rainbows. And we'll take an official timeout with 15-27 left to play in the championship game. Oregon has emerged from the locker room ready to play, and they have the momentum. That's a championship game coming out saying what you have to do. Let's come out with this plan. Tear that plan up. Let's do something else like you did in the first half. Perimeter passing for Oregon. They lead by three. Jones off the back of the rim. Ball tipped. And finally, Alexander gathers it in to Sabovich. Still looking for their first field goal of the second half. 14-54 left to play in the game. All they have is three free throws by Sabovic. That's been it. Sabovic in the lane. Osler fishes for two. Hit. Boy, Osler was running the ball. He got it. 38-37 Oregon. Osler finally breaks the doldrum. Inside, and Hicks hits the bottom of the basket. The referee pointed one way, and then now he's going to point the other. I think when Marquette Alexander uh, grabbed the ball, his toe was on the line. Into Hicks. Scales has been very quiet in this game. Over Smith, he won't save it. 
BP Hawaiian Child Toddlers continues its commitment to the University of Hawaii General Scholarship Fund by honoring a player from each team in tonight's game. BP Hawaiian Child, your provider of high-speed access to the Internet. Well, Scales has had a tough ball game the last two nights offensively. Last night he struggled, but he did a lot of things good on the board. Johnny White, no. And Marquette Alexander chip in, yes. Stone tries to respond, and he is fouled on the dribble drive, fouled by Quita. Quita and Osler start jawing at each other. Quita likes to win. He does not like to lose. Rainbows have to come back again. Transition defense is what's hurting him right now. Third personal on Quita. Third team foul here in the second half on Hawaii. 39-38. Hawaii leading. Smith gets it to Scales. Scales walk. Turnover to Scales. Credit the Rainbow defense. The Rainbow defense giving the Oregon Ducks problems. They cannot get into the offense. Jeremy Robinson comes on to the court. For Derek or for Narius Quito. So Robinson, White, Savovich, Osler, and Marquette Alexander. Alexander marks up, uh, matched up with Hicks, and Osler walks by Smith. Mitchell Savovich. Johnny White coming up from the baseline in the corner to Robinson. Rainbows with much time on the shot clock, but Oregon with very good defensive posture and spacing right now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Alexander goes cross court to Johnny White. Johnny White for three from far away. That won't go. Foul call. They're going to call it on Darius White. He fouled Jeremy Robinson. Well, I think they're going to call it Jeremy Robinson. He fouled Darius White. Boy, that's not the way I saw that. Yeah, let's see. That's all right. That's that uh, medication, you know? The throat lozenges. Boy, I don't know. <laughs> Could be the worst call I've ever seen oh. in history. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. <laughs> oh. Oh. White still leads 39 to 38. Jones in and out. Put back Smith. No. Marquette Alexander with the rebound to Johnny White. Loses possession. That takes away the transition. So the Rainbows again set it up, but they have had trouble getting shots. They lead by one. That lob play not paying dividends in the second half. Another turnover. Here comes Oregon. Scale. And he can bomb from the outside if he gets hot. Jones dumps it in to Smith against Osler one on one to the hoop, too. A.D. Smith. Big man, big man. 19 points, seven rebounds in this ball game. 40 39. Smith going one on one against Osler to no contest. And A.D. just played on the mile tournament team. Savovich needs that. Almost an air ball off the back rim. Here comes Oregon. Rainbow's really having trouble. Scales. Savovich takes the charge offensive on Scales. Savovich does it again. Ernie Kent can't believe it. Second personal foul on Scales. Savovich will sleep well tonight knowing the amount of flop and the familiarity he has had with this hardwood. 40-39, Oregon. No, no. Disqualified, sir. No, okay. 40-39, Lindquist has come into the game for Oregon. But the Rainbows just have been held out. They have not been able to get the high percentage shot. And they continue to struggle in this half-court offense. Credit Oregon. Marquette Alexander against Hicks. Alexander backing in. Smith comes over to help. Alexander misses the shot. Ball comes off on the baseline. Alexander again misses the shot. Tip up Osler. Quick pass. Smith. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's high five each other. Let's congratulate each other. Let's just say how wonderful that was. Boy. And in the meantime, Oregon goes down and just makes the Rainbows pay. Oh, uh, the Rainbows had the best seats in the house for them. They were asleep or watching. They became spectators up the floor. Transition has paid off for Oregon. Savovich for three. He needs that. Doesn't get it. It's short. Ball comes off to Linquist. Ahead to right. Down the middle comes Scales. Up and in. And they say no basket again. Savovich.
Popovich did it again. That's the third time tonight that he has drawn the offensive foul. Well, you've got to credit Tadrock Popovich for giving up his body because he gives it up this time. Now, the first time he almost fell before the contact. This time, definitely he was there. Good call by the official. And that was down deep. 42-41 Oregon. Popovich came up court, rubbing his lump. Shot up by Johnny White, though. Rainbow's able to penetrate that time. 43-42. Rainbow Skeeter tottering back into the lead. Crowd trying to get into it. Ball is shoveled to Smith for two. Oslo coming over late. Well, credit Gary is right for making that happen. He broke the rainbows down on the defensive end. And then when Marquette Alexander came over to help, AD had an easy one. Alexander, brother of Oregon, now leading by one. Popovich stops it on the baseline for Jeremy Robinson. Into Oslo against Smith. Oslo looking for Alexander. Flashes to White up and in. Play works again. Good job by Oscar. Good movement without the basketball by Johnny White. Rainbow assumed the lead, 45-44. This is a shootout right now, buddy. It's a shootout. Rehnquist to Scales. Whistle blows foul call. Referees look at each other, and they nod. Foul will be on Robinson. Jeremy Robinson's second personal and the 15th foul on the Rainbow's 946 left to play in this championship game. 36th annual Rainbow Classic played here at the San Cheryl Center. Oregon very deliberate. Right to Smith. To Hartenstein bumping against Alexander. Tip up, Mo. Hartenstein again. The ball goes in. Foul call. Hartenstein wheeled that one in, buddy. He just bogarted. He just decided that I'm not going to be stopped. Watch this now. That's, that's just all work right there. That's blue collar work. Keeps it alive. Then he takes the ball and just throws it up. Yeah, that was not schoolyard. That was junkyard basketball. Coming into the game is Bernard McIntosh comes in for Alexander. Get Marquette a couple moments. Oregon leading now 46-45. Third personal foul of Marquette. He's going to sit down. That's in for Hartenstein. Lead changes, 16 lead changes in this game. Four times. Sometimes the Rainbows are insistent on running their sideline break after a made free throw. If it's not there, don't force it. White. Stops it off for Osler. Rainbows now with a new look. Jeremy Robinson ends up with that errant pass. Rainbows continue control. McIntosh out to Popovich. Johnny White against Lindquist. Takes it in deep. Passes to McIntosh. Can't hold. Goes to right. Long pass. Jones gets it. Foul call. Popovich. What a tremendous pass by Darius Wright. That point guard is making it happen. Great pass. Jones, the X-Factor. Watch this pass. Now, this pass has to come down correct.